So here are the things you will need to print. One of this, this is the body. You will need two of these. I have my second one over here. It has two screws in it. I'll get to that in a second. And you'll need to print these two. So you'll need to print four of these and four of these. These two are going to work as the legs. So I have the other ones printed over here, but they're already finished. So I'll be showing you guys how to build this. You'll need 12 servo motors and a bunch of these screws. So I have these two screws already connected into here. I'll show you how to assemble them. So over here you see these two holes. That's where the screws go into. So you can just hold this like this and screw them in. After you're done gluing or screwing on these two pieces, you get your servo shaft and you connect it on over here. It should snap in pretty nicely in the circle right there. You get 3D printed there. You hear that little click. And I put the servo motor in, which goes in right like this. The next thing you're supposed to do is you get your servo motor and you put it right behind the white piece and you push it in. When you're done pushing it in, you make sure it's staying there properly and then you get your screw and you put the screw into the white servo shaft and you screw it in. So this is what the servo should look like after you're done connecting them. Two on this side and two on this side. Now it's time to build the legs. This is how you build your leg. You get the servo motor and you connect it over here. This should be either at 0 or 180 depending on which leg you're building right now. Screw it in just like this. Now the second one is pretty much the same thing. You get another servo motor. So you set the servo like this to 180 or 0, whichever leg you're building once again. It depends a lot on which leg you're building. And you connect it onto this area. It's like the same thing as the first servo, except the positioning of the servo is a little bit different. Now you get this piece and you connect it right there, like that. It's on the bottom servo. And that's one leg done. So this is how the servos are going to be connected onto the base. That's going to go there, this one's going to come here, this one's going to go there, and this one's going to come here. And I'll show you that with one leg first. So these are the four legs you have made. And I'll connect them one by one, like this. The glue goes on between the two servos, right here and there. So the glue stuck in the middle there is going to connect on these two servos. Make sure you use hot glue, because hot glue is really sticky. So this is one leg connected, like this. It moves in all three directions, in all three axes, X, Y, Z. So X, Y, and then this is Z. And I'll do the other three legs off camera. So here's how a robot looks like so far. So now to code it, I'm going to be using an Arduino Mega with a 52 servo motor driver shield. Now this thing goes on over here with the header pins. It snaps on right there, like that. And this thing is just going to get glued on over here on the top on this little rectangle area. So this is what the robot looks like right now. So you can see that the legs look a bit messed up, they're not really set straight, is because they don't have that much power in them right now. So they get power once you wire it up and you upload the code or upload any sort of code that declares that the servo motor is there, then the servo motor will stay straight in one position. So that's what we're going to do right now after I show you how to do the wiring. There's a 6 volt Lion battery all at the bottom, right there the blue one. You can use whatever type of battery you want. So for the wiring, I'm going to wire it where this one goes on to digital pin number 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So in theory, this is going to be server number 1, 2, 3, and same thing with other ones, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I'll wire that right now. I'll do the first leg in front of you guys so you guys can see how to do it. So this one comes here. The yellow wire is a source pin, so it goes towards the numbers. So this comes right here, like that. That's one servo. This is the second servo, which is going to be servo number two. And this is the third one. So this is like one leg done. The other legs are the same thing. Just complete them all up to 13. This is the wiring done. As you can see, a lot of the pins are not being used because there's about 70 pins over there. And we don't have 70 motors, which is a good thing. Now you see that these two white and black wires are just sticking out. The black one goes onto the GND of the, on the battery, and the white one goes onto 5V of the battery. The 5V is the positive rail, and the black one, which is the GND, and GND is always the negative rail. 